know, my filter has become a bit thinner and I'm happy that I can be more honest <laughs> uh, and but more vocal. Yeah. I don't know whether it's because I'm just turning into a crusty old broad, but um, <laughs> but I think I'm um, I'm delightfully uh, truthful is what I'd like to say um, that I can I, I, I I'm not um, I'm less afraid to uh, speak up. Yeah. Uh, but I think that as an artist right now, I think I've just become uh, more honest openly, you know, uh, and able to speak up and able to say no more. I'm OK with saying no. I've been saying no to certain um, roles, uh, you know, uh, turn down certain projects and jobs. And it's nothing personal, but it's just not the way I see myself. I've done the whole token thing. You know, I did the whole post 9-11 when it all it was was every brown actor was one of those roles. I mean, I literally had to keep taking a dupatta mm -hmm. to every audition at some point where it's sort of like, you know, because Homeland came out, right? And all the all the all the shows about terrorism came out. And so like all my male friends were like, you know, we're holding a gun and like you know, my friends, my colleagues, my girls, my South Asian brown girls back in the 90s have laid down a foundation so that here so that we are able to have more opportunities you know the young people are like doing leading roles now it's awesome yeah. it's i'm so happy as an artist yes i'm much more honest i'm much more vocal and i'm proud of it and i'm gonna stay proud brown and strong yeah i'm very i'm very proud that i can st I, I still identify as a dancer and as a as as an actor and i just say artist you know yeah. because it's just, it's so, it, it, I love saying artist.